morning. Trying to brighten it up a little bit. How is everybody? Uh, we are at Little America. We went 499.4 miles <laughs> yesterday. <coughs> uh, well, we did an eight hour break here. We're about to leave out of here in about 35 minutes or so. As soon as I get the truck warmed up. Trying to make it over to, hopefully we get enough hours back to get over to Cheyenne. Just sign my log before boss man yells at me. <laughs> uh, boss man picked up tea yesterday, so he's on his way back. He's probably in Indiana or Illinois by this morning, knowing him. Knowing him, he hauled ass. I don't have any coffee this morning, so I got energy drink for my caffeine until I get somewhere to get coffee, which is not going to be for a while. And then I'm planning to stop again until I at least roll it. So. If, I, if I pick up enough hours, I won't know that for another 35 minutes or so. <laughs> So how is everyone? You have a good morning or a good night? Whew. Yeah, I got over here. I, I took a two-hour nap yesterday in American Falls like I usually do. And for some reason, I did not hear my alarm go off. So my two-hour nap turned into a three-and-a-half-hour nap which burned up an hour and a half that I needed. Because I got here, I had just under two hours, which wasn't enough to get me to Rollins or anywhere that I wanted to stop. So, I stopped here to do an eight. I think I'm gonna pick up about three and a half, four hours. Four hours would get me to. Might get me all the way to Cheyenne. At least get me to Laramie, but maybe all the way to Cheyenne. And then I have to do a two and then do the rest. So that's the plan. Of course, I'm stuck on the day shift. You know how I love that. So I might get to Cheyenne and decide to get another. Another eight, another ten, and put myself on the night shift. You know what I mean, Burn? Because I don't like day driving. Too many people. <laughs> You know how much I love people. I do love people. People are alright. Some of them are assholes, but you need to learn to deal with them. <sighs> Come on, we'll drink, warm up. 19 degrees here this morning. I may have to fill apart with my AC thing and get it to blow down on my feet. Half and half feet in the crosser. So my feet get cold. Cozy logies are freezing. Oh, it got cold last night. I went ahead and was going running with the with the reefer off. And my little vent door open on the back. Um, on his onions, you know they don't they don't need to be that cold. 
cool. You don't want them to get cold. Too cold. You want them, want them running right around 40 degrees. So there's no need to run the Reaper for 40 degrees. Just turn it off. It'll stay right around 40. But it got cold last night, so I went ahead and closed the door and and uh, started the Reaper on start stop. 740, so it keep them from freezing, because you don't want them things to freeze. Ain't no good when they freeze. And we don't want to get them turned away when I get there. So when it warms back up, I'll shut it back off. <laughs> Gotta save some fuel, save some money. Burn up all the diesel. Anyhow, I saw a story yesterday on the news on my news feed my, from Google. Um, I guess a driver runs for a company out of Chicago. They're contracted with uh, Amazon. Um, they, uh, He's suing the company, he, his company, and I think he's suing Amazon as well. Uh, for forcing him to uh, into illegal uh, practices. He claims that they um, were forcing him to drive like 30 straight hours. And the company was doctoring his, his e log. And, uh. Well, that's a big deal. That's. That's a huge. No, no. Um, if it's true, FMCSA is going to come down on their heads. Um. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll shut down the company quick. Um, yeah, I, I think with Amazon, you know, Amazon has that two-day delivery promise or whatever they call it, which is pretty unrealistic, when especially if you're ordering something, you're on a, you live on the East Coast, you're ordering something that's on the West Coast, you know, you want something in, in two days, that's 3,000 miles in two days. Sure, it's convenient, but I mean it. And it forces people to do crazy things. So, and people want it. You know, people want their stuff yesterday. You know. They want their stuff delivered before they knew they wanted it. And that's kind of the problem. Is, uh, people are too, much, too big a hurry. They want everything right now. Right now. But they don't realize what it costs to do right now. Uh, sure, it's convenient, but man. You're asking the guy to run that hard. And that's just put people at risk. I mean, sure they fly, I'm sure they fly a lot of that distance, but then you know, your, your house doesn't have an airport in it. <laughs> but even then, there's only so much they can do, realistically. 
you know, you can't just fly one package all across the country. You're flying hundreds of them to a, somewhere, and then it goes to a warehouse, and then gets separated and parceled out to different trucks going to different places, sent out, like FedEx and anybody else, them guys. The thing with Amazon, because Amazon's trying to become a trucking company, and if they're going to run like that, and I've seen them, you know, they, people that they contract with are just, just hauling ass. Pardon my French, but man, them guys are moving. And they, a lot of them are, they ain't safe, I'll tell you that. Yeah. You know, you do like, they probably have to do like FedEx and, and, uh, all the LTL carriers. The, the guys who pull doubles and stuff. Where they line haul. So they'll, you know, meet trucks. And it keeps the trailers moving. But it doesn't wear out a driver, you know what I mean? That's the best way to do it. Either that or put teams in the truck and run teams. And that way they're getting better rest. But they got to realize, you know, people got to realize it's winter time. You got stuff coming from California to to the west or the east coast. They gotta go. They gotta come to Cheyenne or to Wyoming. And the weather here is so unpredictable and so crazy most of the year, most of the winter. There's going to be delays, and they're going to have to get over it. <laughs> Stop ordering your stuff for two-day delivery. Make it three or four days. Surely you can live without it another day. Right? I mean, what's one more day going to cost you? Nothing. Getting it one day earlier might cost a life. Because it's making people do crazy things. that's going to turn out. I mean, I'm sure the FMCSA is going to investigate it. The Labor Board is going to investigate it. Uh, Amazon says they're investigating it. Of course, you know, they're part of the problem. <laughs> you know, they're part of the being sued, so I'm sure they're going to make it look as good as possible. We'll see how that works out. I'll try, I'll try to keep up with that story if I can, if I can find it again. I took this morning won't go away. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in trucking. The whole thing going out in California with that labor law. But 
Shout out to Halt of Dad for, for now. The AB5 thing. I haven't read what that all entails, but from what little bit I've seen of it, it didn't sound good. Anyway, still trying to get woke up. Still got 20 minutes. Oh, truck over my feet are freezing. It's probably up if I put shoes on. <laughs> I always take my shoes off right here by the door before I go to bed. They get a little cold until I get my feet in them. You start to start holding up. There we go. talking this morning. It's too early. <laughs> I complain they don't talk and then when they do I tell them to shut up. <laughs> That's why they call me wayward. <laughs> Yeah, coffee this morning. And this this stupid logbook app it's got this stupid thing that it's got a uh I guess they have a load board as part of the app. And it keeps popping up notifications. Say, check this out, check this out. I don't want to check it out. I ain't got nothing to do with the load board. I ain't the one who picks the loads. I don't need to see your load board. Leave me the hell alone. <laughs> but it keeps popping up and it's driving me nuts. And I look at it in the in the settings, trying to find out how to shut it off. And go. So if anybody keep trucking is watching, it's under the beta test, I guess, for the for the smart load board. Put in something where the driver can can turn it off. I don't need to see it. I need the one who takes the load. And that damn thing keep popping up. With a little red dot up there telling me I got a notification. Look at me, look at me. I don't want it. I don't. I don't need it. I ain't coming down with a cold. I don't want that. It reminds me, somewhere I got a... I can bite it. There we go. might help a little bit. Vitamin C and stuff like that. 
I also got the CO210. That might help a little bit too. At least keep my blood sugar down. Probably my blood pressure down. And my garlic. Because I don't like. Ooh, crap, I'm out of garlic. I'm out of my garlic. I like my garlic because it, it helps blood pressure. It also helps my keep my teeth from getting infected. But I am out of garlic. Let the drag. But I don't like pills. I kind of need, need them right now. <sighs> Got me two big old Fiji water. Fiji doesn't sponsor me, but I wish it did. <laughs> that stuff is a little bit pricey. A little bit. You'll find that story again. And there's it right there. Yeah. Driver Timothy Weekly. Filed a civil complaint with the U.S. District Court. This is coming from a landline uh, magazine. He claims he was injured in a crash. Uh, after, um, so yeah. Injured after crashing into a concrete barrier, 8.30 p.m. last, last Halloween, on eastbound Interstate 26, while on his way from a delivery in Cleveland, Tennessee, to his home in Johnson City, Tennessee. Claims that AAA, the company he works for, I guess, would routinely edit his electronic logging device to make it look like he was operating within hours of service regulations. If that's true, they're going to get hammered. It also alleges that Amazon knew or should have known about the tampering because it requires its drivers to have an app on their phone that tracks their movements down to the millisecond, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I have a couple of tracking apps on my phone. Different brokers require you to have a tracking app. Um, not all of them use it, but some of them do. I don't like it. I mean, I mean, if they want to know where I am, they can call my boss and you can tell them exactly where I'm at. But they don't want to do that. They want to track me by my phone, know exactly what I'm doing, where I'm at. I don't like it. And we don't use them very often. So I think. It's I think she is yet Robinson, one of them. There's a uh, two tracking apps I have on my phone. Um, uh, Macro something. And I don't forget the name of the other one. Tracker or something like
it, uh, there's some light line again. The suit claims Amazon and AAA routinely coerced him into driving as long as 20 or 30 hours with only an hour or two of rest. And we have a coercion laws that they're pretty serious about now. And they gave him an ultimatum after he was going to take his 34 hour break. After only 14 hours, though, they gave him a, a load and an ultimatum to either pick up the load or return his truck and trailer to the yard. And he was a lease driver. So if he had returned his truck, he'd have been out a lot of money. And, you know, they got that over his head, so... That's what's forcing a lot of these guys to do stupid shit. It's, you know, drive, the company gets them over, gets something over their head, like a lease driver. Gonna be out thousands of dollars. Tens of thousands of dollars. And, you know, it's either return your truck or take your flow. That's bullshit. So the guy drives and he ends up having a wreck. He ends up having all kinds of medical issues as far as he's, he's claiming him suffering insomnia and depression. See how it turns out. Yeah, you can look that story up on la uh, Landline. The Landline.media. Uh, let's see if I can get their exact thing. They're also on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all that. Yeah, so look that up if you want. That's a hell of a deal. And if it's true, I hope they come down and somebody goes to jail. <laughs> it's just wrong. Just wrong. Look, treat a man that way. Gotta try to try to do his job, and you gotta treat him like shit. The problem with a lot of these companies here is you're just a number to them. That's what I love about Elman. Best guy I've ever worked for. Best company I ever worked for. We're small. Everybody knows everybody, and we treat it right. You know. Yeah, there's a few things you, you know, that you get that everywhere, but. Nothing like you see at other companies. He doesn't push me. He doesn't doesn't ride my ass all the time. Yeah, he tracks me and he watches what I'm doing. But I mean, I'm driving a you know sixty thousand dollar truck. Of course, he's gonna watch me. So, uh, but yeah, it's uh, I mean. Yeah. Anytime I want to go home, I just tell them, you know, hey, I'd like to be home on this day. And I'll only give them plenty of notice so you can work out the schedule. Make sure I don't, you know, because you got to cover a T-load. 
then I go on whatever. Even if it means just meeting in the middle of swapping loads, we've done that several times. Uh, yeah. Any, anytime I, if I need money, I just ask for it. He ain't shy about giving it. Of course, he wants, you know, if I'm taking a loan, he wants the part of it back, and he takes it out a little bit each week, which is perfect. The one I had to do it once, or twice, when I had my surgery I'm out of out of money. He helped me out quite a bit. The company wouldn't do that. Any other any other company I've ever worked for wouldn't have done that. And any time it's uh, something I end up going to be late or something, it'll reschedule. You don't care. Pick up the phone. He does pretty good. And I like it. Well, hopefully I can stay working here for a long time. <laughs> as, long as, he, as long as he can stay afloat. I know he's been having some trouble with loads and stuff, getting finding some freight that actually pays. That butter load was a decent load, but to get us out there, I wish we get, hope we can get that back. Probably not, but I'm hoping. But I, I like that butter load. find out how many hours we pick up. And I'm ready to go. I want to go get some coffee. <laughs> we're, at the, we're at the 66 mile marker or 67 mile marker. Oh, 71. Uh, that's 30... miles from Rollins. We'll stop there and get fuel. I don't know what I don't know what's going on with Wilma. Her fuel mileage is dropping off badly. I'm barely getting six miles a gallon. There's no way no. And other than that cooling thing, it's the only other problem I can find. Everything else seems to be running fine. Tire pressure's good. Uh, oil's good. Everything else seems good. I can't see a cooling problem be costing me fuel mileage, but. I'm trying to be lighter on my foot. I know sometimes I get a little heavy footed, but I try. I know I'm just rambling, <laughs> waiting on my logbook to catch up, tell me I can go. We're sitting here idling ain't helping, but I had to get the damn truck warmed up for some gold. If 
I just pulled him behind me. I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go, let's go, go, go. We'll see how we wait another four minutes before we can find out. If I only got like two hours, which I know I got more than that, I drove at least at least three and a half before I took that, that three hour break. So I get at least that much back. I give me two hundred and something miles. That'll give me at least a rollin. Get my fuel, and I can take a two-hour break there and eat breakfast at TA if I want to. What I could do, probably won't. <laughs> I'll at least get my fuel and maybe a or maybe a sausage sandwich or something to go, and a cup of coffee. I'm out of creamer again. I bought two of those creamer deals. They don't last long, they're only about that big, they're tiny things. They go pretty quick. We we'll have to get some more. I'll call Laura on the way in and tell her to go to Walmart. Meet me where at Walmart, because I can park up by Walmart in Cheyenne. Always waiting. Hurry up, wait. Hurry up, wait. So, what y'all been up to? Y'all done anything good lately? Y'all start exercising yet? I gotta do some more weight. I gotta get my butt off, off my butt and get out there next time. This is not the place to do it. You get run over here until I come flying off the highway. I to walk on this side, except over there, it's about that deep in snow. <laughs> Woke up early, I couldn't sleep anymore. Now I'm antsy and white ready to go. Here we go. Wow. Really? We got like six and three quarter hours. <laughs> Sweet. You can go truck it. Always forget with this stupid thing, you can't manually put it on drive. You just start driving and it does it itself. So I'm going to go trucking. It's dark out. So you really can't see anything. So I'm going to wait till it gets lighter. And I might do a ride along somewhere over there around Elk Mountain or something. What time is it? 6.30 sunrise or is that? 7.30 so. Yeah. I'll try to get some kind of ride along over there around Elk. Roger, Dodger. Y'all have a good day. Talk to you later.